Welcome to Real World AIP, the YouTube channel dedicated to helping you implement the autoimmune protocol. But it's probably gonna be useful to you too if you're just into whole food and clean eating. I'm Stacy, and today I'm going to be doing another episode of Minced. Basically, I pull random ingredients out of mason jars and I put together something tasty with what I get. Today, I got one pot with white fish, squash, and cilantro. This could be very good. All right, I went through my freezer. I found a one pound bag of monkfish. They call this the poor man's lobster. It's firm, sweet, kind of white fleshed fish, but you could use cod or haddock or halibut or any of those, although this is a little firmer. Ooh, scallops would be good too. Uh, I have some pureed garlic cubes I want to use up because they're getting freezer burnt. So garlic, onion, of course, that's like a half of a red onion. And then, so I know this said cilantro. Um, it's not going to be the star of the dish. Um, I will add it in there just because, you know, I have to play by the rules. So I'll throw in some cilantro. But the real star is going to be some saffron. <laughs> Twist, don't pull. I guess I had a hard time opening this one time. <laughs> Thank you, past Stacy, future Stacy. Thanks you for that. <laughs> I'm gonna season it with some bay leaves, um, tarragon, thyme. Yeah, saffron and, uh, and we'll just throw a little cilantro in there just for good measure. The squash, I actually have some that I had frozen and thawed because um, I didn't know what to do with it. I didn't feel like eating it when I, I made a bunch of it. Butternut would be fine. Any kind of squash, spaghetti squash. All right, so I have one pot. <laughs> I have the cilantro component, the white fish and the squash. So I'm just gonna throw this together now. I'm, I'm gonna do like a soupy chowdery type of thing. Stew, let's call it a stew. Okay, we'll start with the uh, garlic and onion. This square is probably like three or four cloves of garlic. I'm gonna throw two of those in, that half onion. And one tablespoon of olive oil. I'm just gonna cover it. Keep a little bit of steam in, let that get heated up and thawed and all that good stuff. That started smelling like something was burning, so I quickly poured some water in there, just a little bit of water, like a half a cup. And um, what had happened was the garlic was starting to stick and burn, but I caught it right before it actually burned, so it toasted it. Oh, so anyway, our garlic is all uh, thawed. <laughs> And there's just a little water in there, and then I'm gonna cover it again. I'm also gonna throw in that bay leaf right about now. Start getting that infused into there. Okay. Man, you know what? A little touch more water. Okay. Ooh, nice. How can this possibly smell this good already? My goodness. All right. So at this point, all right, if I had some clam juice, I would totally use it, but I don't. I'm gonna add, this is 16 ounce jar of uh, squash. And then I'm gonna put 16 ounces of water in there. Bring that up to a, a bubble. I don't know if it's necessarily a boil, but we wanna see some little action going on in here. And I'm also going to add my herbs at this time. I'll do uh, two teaspoons of cilantro. Tarragon. I'll do a, te a teaspoon of tarragon. Thyme is very potent. You don't want to go overboard with the thyme. I'm thinking like, that might even be too much. Like a half a teaspoon, quarter teaspoon of thyme. And the saffron twist. Oh yeah, I can see how that would have <laughs> stumped me five or six of these little, whatever they're called, the little string things. I'm trying to keep it away from the pot so they don't get moisture in them. Like six, six or eight of these little stringy things. Threads, they're threads, saffron threads. Let's get that all heated up. gonna put the fish in the pot. It's still pretty much mostly frozen. And I'm also going to, uh, well this thing has seen better days, huh? 
I'm gonna um, squeeze the juice of one lemon into there for acidity. But you could just throw in some balsamic too. Either one would be fabulous. So as an aside, um, I don't know if you can see the color of these lemons. They are not like a typical uh, yellow lemon. They smell, look, and taste. But yeah, these are Meyer lemons. They're totally Meyer lemons. If you've ever had a Meyer lemon, you can tell a Meyer from a... So I got them at Trader Joe's. Just says lemons, organic, classic harvest. I think they had too many Meyer lemons and they didn't know what to do with them, so they just put them in here and sold them. I kid you not. I don't know if anybody else got these from um, Trader Joe's, but I'd love to hear if you had the same experience because I'm pretty sure that these are Meyer lemons in here. Either way, they'll be fine in here. So I'll lower this heat a little. Flip this over. Oh. Looks like a chicken leg. <laughs> and I'm just going to squeeze all the lemon in there. Okay, cover that back up. Let that go till the fish is thawed and cooked. Ooh, okay. As you can see, this monkfish really holds its shape, even though it's totally cooked through. Um, I'm actually gonna get in there with like a knife. If this was cod or something like that, I would just, you know, break it up with a spatula. But monkfish is very firm. It's so good, and it doesn't get rubbery. I just love it. If you can find it, pick some up for yourself. It is yummy. Only thing missing is salt. I didn't put any in in the beginning. Um, let's say a half a teaspoon. Mix it up, taste it, go from there. All right, let me just taste this. Mm. Oh man, that's good. Why does it taste like chicken? It's like mock chicken stew. That tastes like chicken to me. Must be the herbs that I put in there. <laughs> it tastes like a delicious chicken, braised chicken. Oh man. All right, I'm gonna put like maybe a quarter of a teaspoon more salt. And then, I know I put that lemon juice in, but I want a little more acidity in here. So I'm just gonna sprinkle in like maybe a tablespoon, a tablespoon and a half of balsamic. Yes. Oh my word. Woo! This is a good one. Okay, let's just plate this up and eat it. Yay! Winner, winner, chicken dinner. So there you have it. Let me know what you would have made differently had you gotten these four ingredients or well, three ingredients and technique. I'd love to hear your ideas and I'd also love to hear if you make this. Tell me how you like it. If you want to see more recipes that never hit YouTube, I post an exclusive recipe on Patreon once a month. Two dollar and up patrons have access to all of those and all the back recipes. Well over a dozen now. Check me out over there. I'll put a link below and I hope to see you soon. Until then, be healthy.